What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we have a very special video, but also, don't mind the hair, I just got done playing an adult rec men's league basketball game. I guess that's the way to say it. A rec league basketball game. Yes, we did lose. Yes, I did not have a great game. And yes, I am bearing that on my shoulders every waking second now. But yes, we did come up short in the victory. Unfortunately, we played a really good team. It's the second time they beat us now. I was actually not there the first time we played them. We, we got blown out when I wasn't there. That's not the reason. I'm not saying that's the reason why. But we got blown out the first time we played them. I wasn't there. I was in San Antonio for the Royal Rumble. And then we played them this time. We lost by 10. Hate to see it. You know, we'll see them in the postseason, though. You know, I think if we're going to become champions, it's going to be right through that team there. But nonetheless, I did just get back, but I, I didn't give a damn. Also, my camera has bit the dust. So this video is actually being recorded on my webcam. Also, also, that's why I didn't upload yesterday. So I do apologize for that. But my camera is being a piece of absolute dog shish. I don't know what the hell the deal is, bro, but it just, it, when you put a SD card in there, it says that the card cannot be accessed. I, it, it was random too. I, I did my Roman Reigns surgery video and then it, it just busted. I, I don't know what the hell's going on with it. It also, I didn't touch it or anything. It all, it, it like, I've tried formatting the card. I've tried different SD cards. It's, it's the camera. I've tried like four different SD cards laying around the house, like uh, ones that my wife uses. This camera apparently has bit the dust or something. I don't know what the hell the problem is. It's making me sick. However, that's what I ran into yesterday. So on top of losing my basketball game, I also lost this camera more than likely, and I'm going to have to order a new one, which also makes me sick. So that's kind of what I'm dealing with. However, I think the announcement is finally coming tomorrow in our Ultimate Edition AJ Styles review that should be going up. But today, I say all that to say, today, we're looking at this article that I found doing some research for my ranking Elite Series 1, one through 100 from worst to best, which is also coming. It's in the works in the background. Video's gonna take a ton of time, bro. I, I have invested so much time into that project. I hope you guys do enjoy the video when I want drops, but it's gonna take a while to edit that as well. But while doing research for said video and just kind of gathering information, I came across this article here, The Sportster, 13 Best WWE Mattel Action Figures Ever. Now, I was just reading along, and I'll get to the point where I was reading along before I said, you know what, hold up, Brad. I gotta make a video about this because this is absolutely asinine. You guys can see here, it says, The Nostalgia Run deep with Mattel's WWE action figures, and these collectible toys are the best of the bunch. I do not argue that whatsoever, but Wesley and Vendano right here, updated February 8, 2023. It is an updated article here, and I'm excited to get into this, but you guys can see here they got a couple of their favorites all lined up here which we're going to get into it, Brad. Just just hold your horses, all right? Scrolling down right here. Let's get into it. I wanted to react to this article because I think it's insane, and I think that it's, yeah, I, th I think that this is going to be fun. It says, In 1996, WWE's action figure toy line turned the corner when they went with Jack Specific as their official toy maker. For nearly 14 years, Jack's and WWE pumped out some great action figures. Alas, all good things must come to an end, and in 2020, 10, 2020, 10. I hope I'm gone by then. And in 2010, WWE and Jack's official part of ways this opened the door for a new manufacturer to step in enter mattel so you scroll on down and it is their top 13 figures of all time coming in at number 13 the slim jim macho man randy savage sdcc 2019 elite exclusive great figure fantastic if somebody had that in their top 13 I wouldn't even argue it. I think the, you know, when you include the packaging and the accessories, the Slim Jims, it's a great attire. It's a fantastic effing jacket. I would wear that jacket every day if I had it. So, yeah, I get it. I totally understand it. You know, it goes into a little bio read. I'm not going to read the bio read for every single one, but, you know, we'll, we'll read them as they matter, and I'll, that'll explain something a little bit later. Number 12, very baffling selection here, Brad. Asuka Network Spotlight Elite. Now, if this came with a robe or something, I'd be like, all right, I'm on board with it, and it's not a bad Asuka figure, but number 12 ever? Ever? I don't know about that one, Brad. This particular wave of WWE Network Spotlight Elite Series included Diesel, Jinder Mahal, and Rey Mysterio, but the standout of the group was this iteration of Asuka. Not only does this figure feature one of the better action figure likenesses of Asuka to date, but also includes some impressive entrance gear that fans might not remember. This outfit is from Asuka's outing at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3, where the Empress of Tomorrow defeated Ember Moon to retain the NXT Women's Championship, and yeah, it's a cool mask. I like it. It's a great Asuka figure. It really, really is. I actually like this Asuka Elite. It's probably the second best Asuka ever. I'd say the Elite 87 slightly better, but uh, this one's not a bad figure. It's not a bad figure whatsoever, and you know, I can, you know what? Just number 12 all time? I don't know. I, can't, I don't know if 
I'm buying it. Number 11 is Shockmaster WWE Elite SDCC. This guy obviously likes the San Diego Comic Cons exclusives, much as uh, much as do I, you know. But number 11 all time, Shockmaster. I don't know. The packaging is fantastic, which is probably what plays into it here. One of the most infamous debuts in pro wrestling history was that of the Shockmaster, a new ally of Sting's for an impending Wars Games match portrayed by Fred Ottman, the former tugboat. The Shockmaster burst through a wall like the Kool Aid Man, only to trip on his way in and lose his helmet as he crashed to the floor. It killed the performer's career, but it was also deeply hilarious. Uh, hilarious. Moving on, number 10, Elite 45 Seth Rollins. Now we're getting somewhere, Brad. Now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of it. Fantastic figure. This would probably be in my top 13 WWE Elite Mattels of all time. After this video, I might make my own top 13 favorite WWE Mattel Elites of all time. Can you include Ultimates? I don't think you can. I think it's that needs to be its own separate category. Maybe if you did favorite action figures of all time or favorite, you know, like Mattels of all time, maybe. But I think you have to eliminate it to the elites. But this figure is fantastic. I think he goes on to say something like, you know, usually it's legendary figures that get a lot of hype, but this one also received a lot of hype. And for great reason, Elite 45 Rollins is the chef's kiss. I love that figure so much. To this day, one of my favorite elites Mattel has made. Moving on, this one baffled the shish out of me, Brad. Rob Van Dam, Elite Series 27. And now my mouse is being stupid. Elite 27 RVD. During his heyday, Rob Van Dam was one of the most popular performers in WWE. Skip down a little bit here. It says the Elite Series 27 Rob Van Dam is among one of the best WWE figures ever made. The head scan is unmistakable, and the attention to detail in the singlet is next level. Mattel even added a folding chair for the Van Daminator purposes. The new Series 91 Rob Van Dam is great, but it doesn't quite measure up to the original. What did he just say? How dare you? You're gonna talk shish about the Elite 91? This figure not only is better than the Elite 27, this figure kicks the dog shit out of the Elite 27. And I'm obviously being dramatic, but there's no way in hell this figure doesn't quite measure up to the Elite 27. The Elite 27 actually got a lot of shish, I remember. I want to say people didn't like it because it wasn't one of his OG gears. It wasn't one of the flashback gears. It's like more of a, I think it was like when he re-signed for a short period of time. Pretty sure that's what what this gear is from. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's why everybody hates this figure. And I actually am one of the ones that defend this figure when people shit on it. But in this case, Brad, I'm not on your team, Brad. I'm on the Tiger Stripes team. And this figure right here is one of my favorite Mattels of all time. And I think a lot of people would agree that this RVD here, Elite 91, is head and shoulders above the Elite 27. But everybody has their thing. You know what? If he likes the Elite 27, that's that's great. That's fantastic. But it's not as good as this one, Brad. This one has a better head sculpt. This one has the better iconic gear. It's got double jointed arms. I mean, I really don't have to say anything else. But that is where I had to absolutely stop reading this. I have no idea what's beyond this. So this video could get insane because I have no idea what lies after this RVD Elite 27 figure, bro. I didn't. I had to. I had to stop. I said, no, bro, I'm making a video right now. Because I had to. In cap this was the moment that I said, you know what? I got to make a video because I don't know what's about to be beyond this. And that statement right there was absolutely asinine, or at least it was to me. Like, I was like, wow. Wow, that's insane. That literally blew my mind. Of course, everybody can like whatever figures they like, man. People like, you know, like, obviously not what I say is concrete. Not everything I say is factual. And not just because I like it more means that that's what stands. But in this case, I just thought it was hilarious that one of my favorite figures ever is the Elite 91 RVD. And he said the Elite 27 is better than that one. And a lot, I feel like a high majority of people would tell you that the Elite 91 is much better. And that truly shocked me. So I had to, uh, I made, I had to make this video. So so here we are. This is literally the reason behind the video. But let's shut the hell up and move on to number 8, which is going to be the defining moments. WrestleMania 7, Macho Man Randy Savage. Fantastic figure. Uh, don't doubt anybody that likes this figure. I think it was one of the first defining moments. It's a beautiful looking gear. I imagine we're going to get this in the Ultimate Edition line before it's all said and done. You know, they recreated the, uh, the, the Ultimate Warrior from this matchup, I do believe. So now that, you know, that would make sense. I think this is a great jacket. You know, he's obviously a big Macho Man guy. Macho Man's very toyetic. He's very figure nasty so this is uh this doesn't shock me i think this this this, is, this makes sense you know it's not on my personal one but you know i can get behind number seven best of attitude era elite chris jericho very good figure do not hate this pick whatsoever comes with the raw's jericho shirt great iconic gear this is a figure that you don't see a lot you know this is one of those figures that hits me in the snouts feels as well you know i'm more of a defining moments chris jericho kind of guy but this figure also hits me right in the stud muffins and i also have like a 
few iterations of this figure because Chris Jericho from this time, it, he was one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And this is when I fell in love with Chris Jericho. So this figure also is, I don't know if it's top 13 for me all time, but it's definitely up there in my favorite elites that Mattel's ever done. Fantastic pick right here for number seven. Number six is going to be the Bret Hart Defining Moments Elite. Now, we don't know what the top five holds. You guys know that the Bret Hart, the Macho Man, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Slim Jim, and the RVD Elite 27 was in the little preview for the article. So now we don't know what lays beyond this. It should be very interesting. I'm actually excited to see what we have here. But he says, perhaps the greatest out of all these figures, though, came in 2012 as part of the Defining Moments series that Bret Hart came with a Canadian flag and featured Hart's iconic attire heading into his famous Survivor Series 1997 match against Shawn Michaels. Mattel has released a few more great Bret Hart figures, but none have been able to match the Defining Moments. I could probably agree with that. I think that this figure is fantastic. I've never personally owned this one, so this is one that I'm trying to get my hands on for sure. I think the jacket, the title, the packaging, the flag, it is a sh it's a beautiful looking figure. I'm not a massive Bret Hart guy, but I can understand this pick. Absolutely. Have no issues with it. Getting into our top five now, let's see what we got. Shawn Michaels Ultimate Edition. Actually, I see some other articles down here. It says the five best and five worst Shawn Michaels action figures ever made. These could make, I also saw an article at the top that said the top 10 WWE figures ever or rarest ever. Maybe another reaction video or something, but Shawn Michaels Ultimate Edition, the first version. Along with Macho Man Randy Savage, Shawn Michaels has worn some of the most colorful and eye-catching attires in pro wrestling history. As a result, many of Michaels' most iconic attires have been immortalized in action figure form. One specific attire that seemed to be missing from Michaels Mattel action figure catalog for a long time was his Survivor Series 97 attire. Luckily for collectors, Mattel righted that wrong in a big way in 2020 when they released their Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels. This figure had added articulation given that it was an Ultimate Edition and it also perfectly captured Michaels' look on that infamous November night in 97. It's a great figure. I like the fan takeover more. I like the fan takeover more and so this one wouldn't hit me in the feels. I do like this figure. I like the Shawn Michaels a lot but it's not top 13 for me and it looks like he mixed the elites and the ultimates together so I guess maybe I could do that I don't know but uh yeah Shawn Michaels ultimate edition great figure not in my top 13 but this is his top 13 so you know it is what it is number four hell yeah this is a great pick this is a great pick this would probably be in my top 13 as well Kurt Angle entrance greats I've beg you, Mattel. I beg Mattel, please. Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle. We need it so bad. And not only just one, we don't need just a 2001 era, which is what I want to see. I want to see a 2001 Kurt Angle. Unforgiven 01 would be the best. Any 01 Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition with the medals and the and the goods and the freaking track pants and a It's True shirt. That. But also a bald, ruthless aggression Kurt Angle. Whether you want to do 05, you want to do 04, you want to do 03, I don't really give a damn. Just give me give me a bald angle and a hair angle. Maybe you can even do like, you know, like Jax did back in the day and have the hair piece. There's lots of things you can do there, but Kurt Angle interest great. This is a great pick. This would be in my top 13. I don't know about number 4, but it would be in my top 13. It, it's a beautiful figure. Hits me right in the freaking soul. Love that figure. I remember when it was first announced. It just, God, that is... That is chef's kiss pick right there. Number three, Finn Balor Ultimate Edition. Great pick right here as well. Would it be in my top 13? I don't know, but this is a fantastic pick. You know, I think they need to redo Finn Balor's Ultimate Edition. They need to give us a new Finn, a new demon, new head sculpts. Give us a different torso. I know he's lean and small, but I think they could give us the Rick Rude torso, that new torso coming on the Coliseum collection. That would be money, but I think this is a great pick. Finn Balor Ultimate Edition, I have zero quarrels about that right there, Brad. That is, uh, that's money zone right there. I'll take it all day. Finn Balor Ultimate Edition demon figure. Number two is going to be the CM Punk ringside exclusive straight A society a lot of people love this figure you know it's a figure i've never owned i think the gear is fantastic i love the mask covering the head and that's really hard to pull off in action figure form especially in this scale having a removable mask that looks really good on and off i think they accomplished that there i think this is a great figure i really wanted is what is it wrestlemania 24 i think when he had the gi joe gear or it may have been wrestlemania it's whenever he took on Rey mysterio whatever 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 mania that that is where he took on Rey Mysterio. That is the G.I. Joe gear, and that's what this figure reminds me of because of the camo and stuff like that, but this is a great figure, one that I've never owned and I'd like to, but that is his number two pick. It says, perhaps the best and easily the priciest among CM Punk action figures is his ringside exclusive. From his days as leader of the Straight Edge Society, this Punk figure came with an arm sling and a removable mask, which Punk wore after getting his head shaved. It is grail as far as CM Punk figures go, and there's no arguing that. That is absolutely true. I think a lot of people would have this in their top five, top three. Personally, 
normally I wouldn't, but you know, it's not my it's not my top 13. It's not my deal. So uh, maybe that video again may be coming, but let's get into the number one. The number one WWE Mattel figure of all time, according to this guy. I think his name is Wesley, maybe. Maybe Weston. William. Todd. Number one is going to be the Hollywood Hogan Ultimate Edition. I don't have any issues with it. I think it's a great figure, but there are, there's there's better Hulk Hogan Ultimates. I think that uh, had this thing had the right skin tone, it would be the it, it would be epic money. I think you know the weight belt could be redone. There's things that they can do differently, you know. But uh, this figure is great. I do like this figure a lot. I think that it is one of the better Ultimate Editions. Is it my favorite of all time? No, but I think it would probably if I did my top. Would it be in the top ten? I don't know if it'd be in the top ten. It'd be up there. It'd, it'd be close to the top 10 if it's not top 10 Ultimate Editions of all time. But I love Hollywood Hogan as much as the next guy. More of a Sting guy. But you know what? I like it. I like the pick. I like the pick. I think a lot of people would probably have this up there. This is a figure we waited forever for, but let's hear his reasoning here. Throughout three years, some huge stars have come along in the sport of wrestling, from Stone Cold Steve Austin to The Rock to John Cena. Arguably the biggest wrestling star ever, though, remains Hulk Hogan. In 2015, the action figure community lost its collective mind when a Hollywood Hogan elite was finally rumored to be released. Unfortunately, Hogan got himself abruptly released from WWE at the time, and the figure was shelved. Luckily, in 2020, with Hogan back in the fold, Mattel released a Hollywood Hogan Ultimate Edition figure. The figure sold like hotcakes. It's possibly the best WWE figure Mattel has ever made. Everything on the figure from the head scan, weight belt, and soft goods. NWO shirt is stupendous. I think a lot of people would fight you on that NWO weight belt or whatever the hell you said. They would fight you in a phone booth over that weight belt comment. But this Hogan figure will be hard to ever top. And it is a damn good figure. But I don't know about the best figure ever. I don't know about that one, Brad. Tan, a little off. Weight belt, a little off. Beautiful figure, great figure. Hard worker. Not the best figure of all time. But you know what, Brad? That's this guy's deal. Wesley Amendano. He may comment on this video and say, shut the hell up, Brad. You're a dumbass. And that'd be okay. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap this up. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I just, I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways. I, I don't even know what the hell I'm going to call this video. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do for the thumbnail. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure all those things out. But nonetheless, I got to get the hell out of here. I got to figure out my camera woes. I got to go order a new camera or something. And then, uh, unless somebody down in the comment section below can help me out with that. But announcement most likely coming tomorrow. Also, AJ Styles Ultimate Edition probably coming tomorrow for the review. I don't know how the hell I'm going to film that. I went to Best Buy. They were sold out of every camera in the store. Like, what the fuck are we doing? If I can't find a camera online, I'm going to go somewhere tomorrow, buy a camera, and then record the AJ Styles Ultimate Edition review. How about that, Brad? Nonetheless, I'm getting out of here, and I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on the video and everything down in the comment section below. Maybe leave me your 13 best WWE Mattel action figures ever. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned for the announcement tomorrow. I'm getting out of here. Love you guys. See you next time. Have a blessed one. We'll never back down.